Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Forgot to put on my glasses. They're getting kind of scratched up. Um, just want to say thank you for your prayers. And uh, those that have donated to the ministry, I want to say thank you so much. Um, there's been uh, some things financially that's come into play lately. Uh, so I guess we'll start the talk, walk and talk with that. Uh, my glasses. <laughs> I didn't put them on. I, had, I, re I was reading this morning and then I didn't put them on for the walk. Um, I got a new pair of glasses in and it was the wrong prescription. Evidently the test was done wrong. My eyes were having to drive. I have to drive, gosh, two and a half hours to get my eye exam when you're a veteran dealing with the VA. Um, so I went to them because glasses are expensive. It's like a hundred bucks for an exam, eye exam, and then that doesn't include the glasses themselves. So I was like, well, I was paying for them at first until I realized the VA said that I qualify because of my eyes and everything to uh, have them do it. So I went through them and I got so stoked and so excited about getting some glasses in. I have more, you know, instead of being hindered trying to read the Bible, I have my love for reading would come back and um, whatnot. And I put on the glasses and I took a walk down the same path right here and it felt like the path was leaning to the left and it was like I had a hard time walking straight because the prescription was wrong. And I got excited, so excited. And then that kind of... Uh, depressed me a little bit, um, actually a lot, when the glasses weren't right, because now to go through the whole hassle of uh, getting a, another prescription done and, a, and new glasses probably take another year or so, so I was waiting six months for those and to get that exam done and everything, and now that kind of set me back, so now I'm wondering financially if I should do it, but then... I just go down here without the drive, make sure my eyes are doing good that day, go in and not dried out and everything, and get the test done. So then I could send that test to the VA and maybe get, I don't know. Anyway, I got bummed by that. I was really excited about having new glasses that aren't scratched up, that are clear. Uh, I lost my original prescription, so I'm using an older prescription. So I was looking forward to having that new prescription again. Um, but it was just... It's like I said, it really got me down. So there was that that kind of set me back a little bit as far as what to do. Then I had a guy come over, um, figuring out a way to fix the sewage. Someone gave me an idea that might be quick and easy, praise the Lord. Some quick and simple. There's a little spring thing underneath the sink that prevents reverse flow. And it could be broken. And that's why I'm getting that smell every, like rarely, but every so often. The pressure gets back too much. That spring's not strong enough. And it's letting some of the pressure come back. So you get that smell. So that might be a blessing. Um, so there's an update. I can't remember if I mentioned that at all. Uh, sometimes I'll do a walk and talk and decide not to put it out. You know, sometimes just it's good to talk. Um, uh, so the Lord's blessed me with that. Hopefully that fixes that. Um, but the biggest thing that really got me down... Uh, was the glasses first, then I had the guy come over to look for the uh, the hillside, for the retaining wall, to find out, to get a measurement, figure out what's the best way to do it, and give me an estimate so I can start saving up um, more than I've already saved up um, to get it done. <clears throat> and I've been down there a lot, uh, underneath the deck on the hillside. Um, so he comes down there and he looks at it, and I might throw, show a couple pictures if I can get pictures that'll actually show it because it's not like hardcore, but it's enough that you can see it. The legs of the deck underneath are not straight up and down. The bottom part that's touching the ground, it's like this. It's starting to lean a little bit because the bottom of the ground is slowly, I'm just slowly falling out, and it's the beginnings of them sh him showing me this, saying, hey, those need to be, they weren't done, they were done cheaply, they weren't done like three feet into the ground and stuff like that. Um, so they were done cheaply. Um, so he's got an idea to do a temporary fix on this to make it straight up and down again. And he just said you just bump them back a little bit because they're just a little bit, they're not a lot. Um, but then he showed me where he needs, uh, that I need to do a uh, retaining wall and he explained to me that it won't be something as simple like, as I was hoping. You know, railroad ties, uh, stake them down, um, make different level walls and stuff like that. He's like, no, for these two areas that are major areas where you've got the uh, the uh, hillsides eroding, erosion, uh, you need to do like a rebarb and um, 
think he said cinder blocks, something along those lines where I said in these two areas you've got to get it done this way and that way it'll be good to go for the next, you know, 20, 30 years. So I doubt we'll be here that long. So he gets up there and he looks at that and he shows me this stuff and I'm just all, you know, I'm just not really panicking, panicking. I trust the Lord, but it's like, it just, it's stress, you know. It's very stressful. Um, so that's the stuff I've got going on in my life financially. And then the ministry, I wanted to get a new camera and I didn't want to get some cheap camera that wasn't going to work or isn't going to last but a few, couple of years because there's some on there that I think are great but when I go to look up the reviews they're like uh, they lie they're not 4k or they're not really 1080 and you know they have all these problems they don't focus they saw the same problems I'm having with my camera where it, it does that zooming thing where it's trying to focus and then stops and then focuses and stops every so often and it's like yeah um, I don't want to waste money I just don't want to throw money down a, a you know a bottomless pit you know? So, uh, and then getting a better computer, because my computer's Stone Age, um, so it'll render faster. Right now when I go to render, everything just goes super slow on the computer. So I can only do that. It doesn't bother me. Right now, the camera I've got right now does work. It's not the best quality it works. I was blessed by getting that mic that we could use uh, to make the sound quality better, whether I'm on the beach or even when I'm sitting in the office room. Uh, ministry headquarters as they say um, ministry headquarters is wherever I'm at <laughs> so if it's on the beach that's where our headquarters are because that's where we're recording and everything oh, neighbor's dog's down there and out but yeah okay, gotta keep pushing try not to get too distracted but those are the things um, I'm dealing with financial things in the last month um, and those are the things that hit me really hard uh, we had the huge storm come in thur uh, Thursday. I keep saying Thursday. It was a Thursday of last month, and it was like a um, typhoon. And they said the eye of it went right over Crescent City. So we got hit pretty hard. Um, the Lord blessed me. We got 50 to 70 mile an hour winds here. And some of the tops of the trees snapped and broke off. And um, what was it? Uh, a lot of trees fell over. Uh, the house was creaking. We we're on that hillside. But uh, overall, not much really happened. I mean, the chickens are good. Um, my dog, Victoria. Victoria! Uh, we did good. The house d did good um, for the most part. And God got us through it. So I just want to throw that out there. Anybody who's been praying for us, thank you for your prayers. We, I appreciate it. Uh, and I need it. Uh, much needed. Um, so that's some of the things that I've been dealing with, uh, physically, I've been dealing with some physical things, um, being sick a little bit, uh, mainly, um, I think one night what happened, cause I'm trying to eat right. And when I'm realizing when you eat right and you stay healthy and physically active exercise, you don't get sick as much. I don't take the flu shot. Uh, I don't take the flu shot. I haven't taken it in what, six years now. Um, and I haven't gotten sick except probably like once, maybe if you want to count it twice, because there's sometimes where I get under the weather. If you want to count that as being sick physically. But what happened was this one night, I, it got, they said it was weird here. We had that huge storm come through. I guess I got to keep it in that hand. Huge storm come through, and um, the next day it got hot. Then it'd get cold. Like here, the way it's supposed to be here is in the sun, it gets hot. I'm in the sun right now, I'm getting hot. And then if you get in the shade where there's no sun, it gets cold. If there's no wind, which there hasn't been like there isn't today, it gets really hot on the deck out there when you're right in the sun. And it's still cold in the shade. Um, but that day it got really hot. And I'm talking, I had to go down to shorts, even in the shade. Uh, this was like um, a couple weeks ago. Even in the shade, I was wearing, I think it was pants actually. I was telling myself I could have wore shorts, but I was wearing pants. And a t-shirt and I left the heaters on inside and forgot so I had to turn all the heaters off and I opened up the windows that's how hot it was getting and I forgot to close t uh, two of the windows and I went to bed that night and I woke up the next morning with my nose stuffed up and a sore throat and when you have all that wet cold air come in and you're breathing it uh, that's what happens so I think that's what got to me 
so I've been down under the weather um, so sorry I haven't been as active with videos as I normally am I'm gonna to try to get back to it so it brings us to the next part of this talk, walk and talk is about the ministry there's three series of videos I want to add um, our series of uh, we're almost done with a lot of the series we've done uh, there's some word studies this is the main series that I'm still working on you know the person word study and uh, repent repent slash repentance word study because uh, I want to be thorough about those to say hey here it is prove to me that you know person has ever been a reference to someone who's just a ghost a spirit or just the body by itself or just the soul by itself so far we haven't seen any of that it has to have a body soul and it has to be living spirit that's how you can be considered a person when someone is dead they're no longer a person so we got those studies we're doing but the three series one's going to be bumped really quick we're going to start it up here shortly is Christmas I want to do a series of videos on Christmas right. and I could really get into it now about why but my main point I'm going to do an introductory video we're going to explain a lot of this stuff but I want to do a series of studies on Christmas because I'm tired of being lied to I'm tired of people coming out and doing videos and they're to make uh, what do you call it um, the birth of Jesus Christ out to look bad you know kind of overly do it like even bringing in lies to try to discredit Christmas when you don't have to lie about it, there's so much truth about it to discredit it you don't have to lie about it and then on the flip side you have people who stand vehemently it's life or death I've got to have my Christmas life or death um, when you sit there they don't tell you the whole truth they don't tell you the whole truth they mock absolute truth and it's like I, I, I wasn't really much of a um, person who does holidays that much anymore. But after doing this study on Christmas and everything, it's just say I'll never, ever, ever celebrate Christmas ever again. You actually do the study. You have a love of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have a love of His Word. And you do the study on it. And like I said, I don't want to get into it. You never, ever have anything to do with Christmas ever again. Um, that being said, just so I can throw this out there, am I against someone saying, hey, today, not the 25th of December, but today, let's say today's uh, October 20th, or August 2nd, or January 15th, or whatever. Today, I, God's put it on my heart, I want to read about the birth of Jesus Christ. You know, see if I can learn anything new, if, uh, you know, comparing things scripture with scripture or just simply read the story and then talk to the Lord about his birth and how he came into the Lord you know prayer um, that is amazing there's nothing nothing wrong with that there's just nothing wrong with that okay but as you do the study if you go into it with a love of the truth a love of the King James Bible God's Word and wanting to stand for absolute truth You'll have a whole different. You'll sing a whole different tune when it comes to Christmas, right? as they say. You'll turn and say, "Okay, you know what? I'm not for Christmas anymore." But there's a series of videos I want to jump and get ahead and do those. The second one is uh, the armor of God. Uh, not getting into it too hardcore. We could, like I said, we've got time. Uh, we're waiting for the Lord to come back. We're doing it by living our lives right for the Lord trying our best to do great and when we fall and we stumble we pick up our cross deny ourselves repent pick up our cross daily uh, and uh, follow him Jesus Christ so repent forsake pick up our cross daily forsake and then follow Jesus Christ get back to where you left off um, but you know we're supposed to be living our life for Jesus Christ so we could easily do the series as long and as much as we want but we could go into a great detail no i always get frustrated when you hear people say that i just didn't want this to be a big video and it's like it's like a 10 minute video that if they done i don't know they put a little bit more effort into it it might have been 30 minutes and it could have been a little bit more detailed but um or they'll say this could be a multi-part video and we'd be here forever we're here until jesus christ comes back do a multi-part video that's my it's always been my attitude in this ministry do a multi-part video if you have to. Multi-part study. So, 
like I said, the armor of God, all the different parts of the armor of God, why they relate to each other. What's the action? I'm learning that there's actual action when you go to put on a piece of the armor of God. There's an action required. And in a lot of instances. So I've already got some notes and studies on that, so I want to start a series on that. The third series is relationship with Jesus Christ. People always say that personal. There's no such thing as the word personal relationship in the King James Bible. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. And the right doesn't say that. So what we need to do is, is go back to the King James Bible. Let's go back to the King James Bible and let's write down and look into all the different types of relationships that you can and are to have with the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? And I'll, I'll do an intro video, I don't want to get into it right now, but you know, you have a king has an army. So you're a soldier, and he's your king. You know, Lord has servants. Masters have, um, I know people don't like this, slaves. You know, he's a master, you're a bond servant, you're a slave. People don't like that. A friend, uh, creator of the universe, and we're the created, you know. So I want to do a series on that, start going through that. So, to help us with our walk with the Lord. So, I'm, I got out here and started walking. And like I said, it's hot. Victoria wants to keep walking, but I don't think I can handle it. Um, just Like I said, I'm just getting over something, that leaving that window open and everything. So, just a short video, walk and talk. Um, just want to say uh, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for the donations for some of, of people that have donated. Um, like I said, anything that gets donated is going towards the ministry, and if for some reason something comes up that's not ministry-related, I will talk with the body of Christ and say, hey, what do you guys think? Is it okay? You know, it's not just, you know, you throw in money. Uh, that's, you know, I just want you to know the money that you're donating. I don't need tons of money. I don't need a month-to-month -month donation. I just want to get a new camera. I really do. A camera that works and uh, better quality that's engineered for actual video taking because I'm using a camera for taking pictures so you're supposed to only be taking like 10 minute videos here and there and I'm using it to do like hour to two hour videos uh, so it's really not designed for that but like I said God gave it to me he's blessed me with being able to be part of the ministry and it works so if it works it works uh, it's not in dire need but I do want to thank those who do donate. I appreciate it so much. Um, make sure you're donating to a ministry that their sole income, their 100% ministry, their sole income is the ministry. So uh, good Bible-believing, God-fearing ministries is what I, what I always say. So looking over, <laughs> see if Victoria will follow us. But, um, but no, I want to thank you for your... And there she goes! <laughs> I want to thank you for your... Uh, for the donations that the brethren have been donating. Um, so this is an update. This is the plan. This is what I've been going through in the last month, trying to get things out, but just been getting a little depressed and all these things that are happening to me. Uh, uh, my flesh is trying to get me down and, and uh, you know, I have no doubt that Satan and his demons, as far as, you know, spiritual attacks, when it comes to people in ministry, really goes after us and things don't go right. Things go... Uh, you know, things just unexpected things happen. Right now, I got to figure out how to do this. I'm not trying to get people sick, <laughs> of course, but I best I could stop here. So, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, and my love for you in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching. Amen. I don't know why I said amen. I heard a crack over there, and it scared me. <laughs> we are out in the countryside, but. I love my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for your prayers. See you in the next video.